y'all it's your girl sierra sharia official and i'm back with another official motherfucking video focus before i even get started make sure you like comment subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell because i say it every time why wouldn't you want to know when your girl uploads a video so i just got home from work y'all um today is monday so it was magic city monday the crowd honestly was kind of weird like it was kind of weird and also another club opened back up tonight so i'm pretty sure people went there a few people came into magic but it was also raining and it's cold so people come out in the rain but i don't know if they're gonna come out in the rain and it's cold but anyways i still had a bomb night I made eleven fifty. My sales was a hundred. Uh, we tipped the lady that helped us run the money. We tipped the office lady ten out of each fifty. So I left with a thousand dollars. And it was really an easy night. I made 100 on stage, probably a little over 100. I got 400 given to me, and I made this in like a last minute section. Um, we made 540, but like I said, it says it was 100, and I got a DJ to the 40. So, yeah, that's how I left with exactly a thousand dollars. And I found this hundred dollar bill on the floor. So that rounded it out to an even. It's real too. So that rounded it out to an even thousand for me. So it was cool on Monday. I did good for the circumstances and what the club looked like. But I didn't take y'all with me to work. So I'm probably going to come back on here tomorrow. Um, I want to try to get a facial. I know most places are not going to let you book the same day so i'm probably just going to do some chilling um make a deposit and i'm gonna probably finish this suitcase seeing as though all i have to do is put the clear coat on top of it so it won't run and oh yeah that's what i'm gonna do tomorrow i gotta finish this editing for this youtube video that i got for y'all by the time this comes out that video will already be posted, so I'm gonna put it up here somewhere. But yeah, y'all, we made a thousand dollars, and Saturday um, was a good night too. I made like thirteen hundred, so I just got this cashed into book bills. It's eleven hundred, and yeah, I'm about to wash my face, wash my ass and go ahead and get in bed i got some chili that one of the office ladies made she always cooking like she be cooking hella shit y'all she be cooking hella shit um i make it look so good but yeah this is what i wore to work today and i put on um my ones my orange black ones but I'm ready to go to bed. My makeup looks so good. If y'all knew where I came from with this makeup shit, like, baby, y'all be like, you done came a long way. Cause I have. So I'm gonna bring y'all along with me this week. A day's in a life. We got a couple things to do. So I started back going to the gym. I went to the gym earlier today and I'm going again Wednesday. And then I have my Friday. So I'm going to do that. I work Wednesday because that's my scheduled shift. And yeah, y'all. Come here. Hey, y'all. Say, hey, Papa, look. Who is that? So yeah, y'all, I'm about to go ahead and wash my face, get myself together to get in the bed, and I'm gonna eat my chili with cornbread, y'all. Chili with the cornbread and the condiments, like, 
Quit fucking playing. Quit fucking playing. Okay, get the fuck down then. I already took Kingston out and I'm glad I did. I took him out before I went to work because it's raining and it's cold and he literally hates foot grass in general. But I did my hair. When did I do my hair? I did it Friday. Yeah, I did my hair Friday. So this is what we're looking like this week. And I had my hairstylist well, he's not really my hairstylist. He just braids my bases down. But I had him cut some layers in it or whatever. My curls have fallen. But yeah. We're probably going to do our hair again on Friday or Thursday because I'm going to work Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. My video is pretty much already done being edited. So, I'm going to get that up by Wednesday. <sighs> but I'm just rambling. So, let me go ahead and get myself together. Because it's like 5 o'clock now. Yeah. Go ahead and wash this makeup off. I'm going to show y'all my chili once I got them. But, my nails, y'all. My nail tech is like bomb. But, look how good this looks. I haven't even heated it up yet. The sour cream, the cheese, the chives. She really liked that. With, with big ass cornbread. I'm finna smash. So I am finally in bed, y'all. When I say that turkey chili was bussing, man, I literally smashed it. It, and the cornbread was so good. Get out of my mouth. He's so spoiled. But I love him so much. Oh, I'm about to watch Marlon probably till I go to sleep, y'all. And I come back tomorrow. Kingston, please. What's up, y'all? I am finally up and out the bed. It is 3.18. I've been up since like 1.30. Uh, I'm about to take Kingston out. Look at me, his raincoat and boots, y'all. <laughs> he really don't like them. <laughs> Ain't he so cute? He hates those fucking boots, y'all. I'm about to take him out. Oh, shoot, we didn't get out of bed until like 2 o'clock. Bring him back upstairs and I'm going to run like an errand or two probably get me some food while i'm out weather is so sucky today like it's really terrible so i'm just gonna be chilling today finish this video for you guys i would just chill in my living room for today i don't really have much going on so yeah i just wanted to come on here before i got to moving around but i'll be back so early outside y'all Chick-fil-A is gonna always have a fucking line. Like, just finishing up this video. And my last little bit of music to this so I don't get copyrighted. And we are done. If anybody was ever wondering how I got my music onto my computer, I just screen record the part that I want out of my copyright music and then I airdrop it to my computer and voila there we go so this is the music that i'm going to use for this little clip right here hey we are at the gym say hey jada hey i'm about to go ahead and get this workout in y'all did you want to take one so i got one there Tingling. <laughs> <laughs>
I told you, girl, your lips gonna be tingling. Everything gonna be tingling. For real. I be trying to do this how they be doing it. I just need some good just take it like on TikTok. Girl. So you ain't take it, you don't take it with the water? So normally if I had a smaller bottle of water, I would take it. Okay. Yeah, but since it's bigger, yeah, I had just got like a sixteen dollars and I drop it down a little bit. We are done for the day, you guys. Back at Friday. What's up, y'all? So, I've been home for probably like the last hour and some change. Um, I threw some clothes in the washer, took Bug out, and I made me some buffalo tuna. When I say it's going to hit every single time, I use two packs of tuna. Each pack is 15 grams. And then I use two eggs, mustard, mayo, relish. And then I just seasoned it up to my liking. And then I have this Pepperidge Farm honey wheat bread. And this is also, it's 10 grams of protein. So it's five grams each slice and it's the perfect combination y'all so if you want that that protein intake just do that it's quick simple boil my eggs put in a tuna and yeah make me a nice little tuna sandwich And it's really good. Like, it's really good because you'll have leftover tuna. I just put it in the fridge and I might eat it with some crackers or I'll do another tuna sandwich with some sweet potato fries. It's time for me to go grocery shopping because I need to get back into cooking at home. So I'll eat this and I'm probably going to chill until it's time for me to go to work. Tonight it's Wednesday so I know I'm scheduled on Wednesday. And my next video is dropping at 333. So yeah. My little tuna sandwich. And I'm about to bust this down. I'm going to probably take me a nap in a few. And... I'll be back. What's up, y'all? I am on the way to work. I'm actually running behind. Um, I already told the office that I was gonna be a little late because I overslept, which I really didn't. I just needed to curl my hair before I got to work. And it took like an hour. So, I had to get on the elevator, get to the car. What's up, y'all? I am finally at work. I'm about to go upstairs. This is the hair. This is the outfit. We're about to count a bag, y'all. I do not like bitches. I don't. <laughs> I don't. It's a decent night. The kitchen was closed, so that stopped a lot of people from coming in here. A little over five in this section. Um, it was eight of us, so they spent like four thousand, a little over four thousand. But 
that's really all that was going on here tonight. That and one other little spot. I'm about to go home, take a shower, wash my face, and get prepared to do my hair tomorrow. What's up, y'all? I just got back home, taking Bug out. We went to Tropical Smoothie. He's greedy as hell. Went to Tropical Smoothie, got me something to eat, and a Detox Island Green. Um, I'm really just lounging around right now. Back, back up. I'm really just lounging around right now um, until I go to the grocery store a little later. Um, but I just wanted to talk about last night clip when I was like, I hate bitches because this strip club will really make you not like females. Like a few weeks ago, one of the girls that I would like normally speak to on the regular, it was a section and not gonna lie. It was a few girls in there, but it was also a lot of customers in there and had a good bit of money. So before money got on the floor, y'all, before money got on the floor, I walked over there. The girl who I normally speak to was like, oh, baby, you got to be dancing for somebody. Woot, 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 woot. Mind you, I see other girls not in front of nobody because it was men and women. But they're not in front of anybody. Like, everybody's just pretty much chilling. They hadn't spent money yet. That's the thing. Like, they hadn't spent money yet. So she's the main one. Oh, yeah, you got to gotta see if you can dance with somebody. Whoop, 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 whoop. So I'm over there. They started throwing the money. I was I kicked my little leg up and started dancing for um, this lady. And she's still like, whoop, 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 whoop. So I asked another girl. I, I don't even know why I asked her because, yeah, I don't even know why I asked her. But she co-signed for the other girl. So, eventually, I just walked out of the section. But, I remember everything. Like, I remember everything. And, bitch, you're not going to be speaking to me. And, like, trying to play me. Like, absolutely not. Because the rule is, if ain't no money on the floor, this is, you know, I don't give a fuck if y'all been standing over here 50 damn minutes. That's y'all problem. <laughs> like, y'all been standing over here this long. I had, and there ain't no money on the floor. So, I'm going to get in where the fuck I fit in. Long story short, last night, the section that I was in, a Spanish girl had got called by this couple that was in the section. So she was the first one dancing out of, out of everybody. And they like being these niggas' faces every time they come in the club. I'm not one of them. like Because at the end of the day, I know what's going to be for me is going to be for me. I dance for these guys like multiple times but i'm not finna be in their face they ain't got their liquor yet first of all y'all done drunk up all their liquor i'm not finna be in their face like i'm not finna be in their face one of the guys called me over there i'm the second girl that they told to dance and they all looking stupid as hell because y'all done been standing over here in these niggas faces drinking up their liquor and i just get called over here and get told to dance like i'm dancing like i'm just dancing you know, everybody started dancing, whatever. It was eight of us, mind you. They spent a little over $4,000. I'm dancing. Whoop, do whoop, whoop. And you know how when somebody know they wrong. Like, you know how somebody know they wrong. I'm not really speaking to none of the girls in the section, but the Spanish girl. Because I don't really fuck with the rest of them. Really all for different reasons, now that I sit and think about it. I'm dancing, you know, whoop, whoop, whoop. And I thought it was a customer trying to get by but she had tapped me on my shoulder and I looked back I'm assuming my face was probably stank because I looked back and then I looked back to the direction that I was dancing so she was like you ain't gotta act like that whoop, whoop, whoop. you know I love you to death whoop, whoop, whoop. like gone <laughs> go on they all like doing all this little secretive whispering in the ear and shit like i don't play them type of games i'm not no fake bitch if i don't fuck with you i don't fuck with you point blank period and it ain't that i don't fuck with you i just know like when money is involved these bitches is not your friends i don't give a fuck how much you say you love me 
Like, pipe down. <laughs> pipe down. But yeah, I just, I don't like that weird energy shit. And I'm pretty sure my energy was kind of off because I don't fuck with y'all. Like, y'all came into the section off the gate trying to claim the money. Like, because y'all y'all be in these niggas' faces like dick sucking. No, I'm not. I'm not. Like I said, what is for me is going to be for me. I was the second bitch that was told to dance and I wasn't even huddling around these niggas waiting for them to spend money. Like... Let's be fucking for real. But that's my little rant. That's why I said I hate bitches because let's be fucking for real. Y'all don't even be dancing. That's another thing. Y'all hoes don't even be dancing for real. Like, but anyways, I'm finna eat my Chipotle club with some jalapeno chips and my little detox iron green. But I'm going to eat. Probably watch a movie. I need some good movies on Netflix. But yeah. That's what I'm about to do until I get up and go to the grocery store. Pick up a few things for the week. So I don't have to be eating out. Because we're back in the gym. So, yeah. So I woke up from my nap and if you talk about my baby hairs, you're anti-black first and foremost. I woke up from my nap probably about eight-ish and went grocery shopping. When I say this little cart thing is the best, the best thing invented, like it's the best thing invented. I tried carrying my groceries 23 floors up once and that was the last time. And then I went and got this little cart. And when I say I only have to make one trip, cause who, who the fuck is gonna be carrying all of this stuff? But I'm about to go ahead and put my groceries up. I always go through self checkout simply because I like to bag my stuff with my stuff. Like this is all cold items. My bread, my eggs, um, I put my chips. This is like dry food type stuff sauces whatever and these are like my fruits veggies so it just makes it easier to put everything up look at him <laughs> i'm just waiting and don't mind these clothes this is just stuff i don't put in a dryer just a little dance session before i do this Y'all, so I've taken Kingston to Starbucks before and gotten him like pub cups. And when I say he's so funny acting, but he will not eat a pub cup. Pretty bad. He really is just funny acting because I don't know if I said this in one of my videos, but we went to the pet store and I told the lady that he was not gonna eat the treat that she gave him. So she proceeded to give him a treat. Well, she kind of broke a piece off. All right, now, you ain't finna be having this all over my floor. But she proceeded to give him a piece of treat and I told her he was not gonna eat it. what did he do? Leave it right there on the floor. <laughs> it should last a little bit. He loves this. What's up, y'all? I am about to get ready for bed. It is 3.33 in the morning from the last clip that y'all saw. I filled my refrigerator, freezer, to Kingston now, wash my dishes. I'm about to fold some clothes before I actually go to bed. Um, and yeah, I just got the shower, so let me get myself together. So, I can get my ass up for the gym in the morning. But let me show y'all my fridge and freezer. The fridge and freezer. 
fridge. I don't really have much in here, just a lot of drinks, water, my veggies and stuff are down there. These were on sale at Publix for three for 10. Go get you some. Not sure where y'all stay, where y'all live, but. And then my freezer, all my frozen fruits. Um, I don't know what it is. I eat chicken, but I love like plant-based. I love plant-based like boneless wings and chicken wings and they just be so good to me. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I'm trying these today. The ones that I had last time, they were so bomb, but I could not find them. So we're gonna try these. And they come with their own like sauce or whatever. So we're gonna see what these taste like. Here I'm with some sweet potato fries. I stocked up on my sweet potato fries. Um, broccoli, shrimp, I had chicken already. Turkey, turkey bacon. Yeah, I got me a little dessert. I don't even know when I'm going to eat this. <laughs> but this was in my fridge. And I don't know if I told y'all that I hadn't smoked in like almost probably two months. Recently, I bought like two grams and it took me like three days, three, four days to even smoke the shit. Like. Um, and I might hit a blunt every now and then at work, but I don't know. It's just not, I just don't feel like I can really smoke anymore, which is so crazy because I've been smoking for years, but I'm about to finish putting my products on my face and fold these clothes. And then we are going to bed. I'm meeting Jada at the gym tomorrow at 11 so yeah just wanted to come in check in with y'all and that's it i'll see y'all tomorrow what's up y'all i just arrived to the gym about to go in here get this good workout y'all we are done we actually got that workout done pretty fast i'm about to finish getting myself together leave out of here what's up y'all i am back home um i've probably been home for like the last like hour when i got here i took kingston out we went for a little walk now i am making me something to eat i'm eating the tuna that i made earlier in the week i just toasted my bread i'm waiting on my sweet potato fries to be done so i can I like spicy food, so I put my tuna on my bread and I added some more uh, cayenne pepper, Kanye, 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 whatever the fuck it's called, some more Kanye pepper, and then I'm about to take my fries out of the air fryer, and that is my after gym meal. Look at the muscles. Don't play with me. Today was a really good workout, y'all. I know I'm going to be sore. Like, my legs were hurting while we were doing abs. So, yeah. But let me show y'all my sweet potato fries. So crispy. When I say this is bomb, put a little ranch. All I added was some seasoning salt to my fries. Because I don't like sugar on my sweet potato fries. So, I'm about to plate this and go ahead and eat. So this is my little meal. Mm -mm -mm. It's probably one of my favorite things to make. So I'm about to eat and honestly just chill. Probably gonna start getting ready for work at about 6.30. It's Friday, so yeah. Um, I know I said I was gonna do my hair yesterday, but I didn't feel like it. And I feel like I still got one more day of this uh, install. So I'm going to do my hair tomorrow. And yeah, 
I'm probably gonna take a nap before work, per usual. But I'll come back a little later. So I went ahead and did my hair and makeup off camera. Cause I thought I was gonna be pushing for time, but I'm actually making perfect time. It's 10.45 and I just wanted to come show y'all what I got on. Makeup. And we are out. y'all today is sunday i know y'all like where was saturday i didn't go to work saturday because i was just honestly so tired and like i said before i'm on my whole you know femininity journey so if i'm tired i'm not doing it if i don't want to do it i'm not doing it so i didn't go to work saturday friday i made hold on Friday, I made $700. I had a sale of 70. I gave 70 or 75. I gave 85 and I tipped the DJ 30. So this is what I came home with. This is 80 and then this is 20. I took 20 out because I thought I was going to spend it, but I did. But it's going to work Saturday because I was just so tired and, you know, I'm just at that point where if I don't want to do, if I don't want to go, I'm not going to go. The money is always going to come. That's one thing I know. So, I am getting out the shower and getting ready to go on a brunch date. I woke up this morning and did my hair. I didn't get that on camera, but now I'm about to do a light little beat. Throw my bottoms on. I'm just wearing this black unitard and i'm going to put on these black like feather style jeans with these snake skin style boots and that's my outfit i'm gonna throw on probably like a little leather jacket and call it a motherfucking day because honestly i really don't want to go but i'm gonna go and I'll tell y'all how it goes when I get back because the way I feel right now, I could really stand this nigga up. But I'm going to be nice. I'm going to play nice. And just like that, I'm not going no fucking where. So I told y'all I didn't want to go anyways. Like, don't mind this. It's actually the guy whose section I was in. First of all, you didn't even spend a bag for it to be any of that. That was my first time ever dancing for him. But comes to figure out, use a regular in this motherfucker. So everybody like, he's so weird. He's so weird. Whoop de whoop de whoop de whoop. Like I'm like, he seemed like he was pretty cool when I was talking to him. So Friday night after work, um, we were texting or whatever. He told me to send him my Instagram. Whoop de whoop de whoop. So I sent him my Instagram. So he was like, let's go to lunch, 3 p.m. Saturday. So I made up that I had a hair appointment knowing that I do my own hair. He was still like pressed on the issue when I'm gonna see you. So Saturday comes around. So I told him that she pushed my hair appointment back to 3.30. So he was like, when I'm gonna see you? I was like, you know, I'm kind of tired. So if I don't go to work, we can do dinner or we can do brunch today, which is Sunday. First off, when we were texting yesterday, I didn't even like how you talking. The motherfucker think he's somebody. First of all, you're 40. You're 40. Still in the fucking club. You're clearly in there often enough for people to see you, know who you are, and say that you weird type shit. So you in here frequently. We um just texting or whatever. He said something along the lines like he can change my life or whatever the fucking case may be. Heard it all before. Like... <laughs> That don't move me. That don't move me. He said this and I'm like, I heard that before. So he was like, you must have not been the one. First of all, baby, I'm the one. The niggas that I was dealing with, they wasn't the one. <laughs> Let's get that straight. Like, God handpicked me and I know this for a fact. Like, God handpicked me. Basically, you know, we set up for today to go to brunch. 
First strike. It's fucking Boogaloo. If you know what Boogaloo is, like... Pipe down. Pipe down, sir. So, second strike. He told me to wear heels. Sir, I'm grown as fuck. I don't need nobody to dress me. I don't need nobody to dress me. I do fine in that department. So, like 2.40 something, right before I copped on camera, he was like, um, let me know when you're leaving the house. So, I'm not even texting the motherfucker back, because leave me alone. So, when I said okay, he was like, First of all, he sent the Trump emoji. I mean, the Trump Bitcoin. Talking about wrong answer. That means you're late. What you should have been saying is I'm leaving five minutes or I'm on the way. I said 3 p.m., ma'am. That shit is like right around the corner from my crib. And although you said 3 p.m., it's fucking boogaloo. Like, pipe the fuck down. I wasn't finna be 30 minutes late or an hour late. I was gonna get there when I get there. So, and I'm not pressed. That's the thing. I'm not fucking pressed to be going out with you. Like, this whole morning, I was like, this is going to be the first and last time. This is going to be the first and last time. This is going to be the first and last time. So, I was like, okay, look, I hope you have a good day. I'm getting ready, but I can honestly stop. So, he called, he FaceTimed me, but I keep my phone on Do Not Disturb. So, he was like, I was calling to see who the hell you talking to when you're dead ass wrong, LOL. You have accountability issues, I see. Bitch, you don't even know me to know I have accountability issues. I'm very accountable of myself. Like, that's one thing I learned on my healing journey is to be accountable of my own actions and what the fuck I do. So, I said, sir, have a good day. Whoever I'm texting is who I'm talking to. You already rubbed me the wrong way yesterday, to be honest. I'm very much accountable of myself. You don't know me to say I, I have accountability issues laughing my ass off. Like, who do you think you are? Then you're too fucking old to be sending g gifts. Like, what? Like, so he sent the little, whatever that means, um, was like expected. I had hopped on the phone once I sent the message, so I'm pretty sure it didn't deliver all the way. But I was like, that's cool. Whatever you expect is just that I'm not no little girl first and foremost. And I don't give a fuck if you ever pick me to dance for you again. Something is wrong with you and I get it now. I'm not one of these dancers who would do anything to make a motherfucker come tip them or fuck with them. Money will be made with or without you because at the end of the day, bitch, I didn't know you before Friday night. So, bitch, what do you think? Like... He think he too fucking important. That's the problem. I even had asked him, um, what did I ask him? I can't remember what I asked him, but he was like, um, I'm the shit or something like that. And I was like, that's so Leo of you. But like, little stuff like that just makes me think that you don't even believe, believe that. <laughs> That just makes me believe that you don't even believe that you're really who you say you are. You're a clown. You're a joke. So he was like, I'm PK, by the way. Whoever the fuck that is. Because he told me his name was Frank. And I was like, congratulations. And that's my last message to this motherfucker. Because, bitch, no. Absolutely not. So, I'm about to... Wipe this off my face, take these eyebrows and this color corrector off, and I'm about to chill, make me some fish and grits, and yeah, <laughs> say this outfit for another day or some shit, because bitch, who you think you talking to? I'm not that. I'm not one of these dancers who gonna put up with a motherfucker just to goddamn make a check. Absolutely the fuck not. Never been, never will be. If I don't like you, I don't like you. Point blank. Period. Like, for real, what the fuck be wrong with people? Got me on this camera with color corrector on my face. Like, what be wrong with people? But at least my hair look good. Wait till I finish, you know, add my little baby hairs and stuff. But, yeah, so. People be having me so fucked up. Like, it's so crazy. People now, take your ass to Boogaloo and have yourself a good day, sir. And just like that, <laughs> bitch, I don't need your brunch at Boogaloo. <laughs> Y'all, I'm about to eat, and I'm probably gonna take me a nap because I've been up since like 10 o'clock. So yeah, I hop back on here a little later on or something. 
and close this vlog out because it's a wrap. Good morning, you guys. I'm just here to close this vlog out. That's a wrap. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. And yeah, we is out. I'm about to go to the gym. Got me a little breakfast, a little banana and granola parfait, some turkey bacon. But yeah, that's all I wanted to come say. <laughs>